There is simply nowhere left to hide. This is the must-win of all must-win games for the New York Red Bulls, our MLS Game of the Winference Championship. This is their lineup tonight, John. Well, look at Peter Novak. It really is a lot on the line. They want to finish at top of the Eastern Conference. But Michael Farfan, normally playing in the midfield, will get front with Rodgers. Dax McCarty comes in on the right. But Joel Impair, a player who has really been consistent from one season to the next, is looking to get on the score sheet again tonight. He's been kind of slacking off. Salvage, a very underachieving season. There is still time for redemption, though, for the Red Bulls. As we get underway, the Philadelphia Union in the dark shirts going from left to right here at Red Bull Arena. Soli. Dax McCarty. Soli again. And this time a better class. Oh, it's back off the post and in. Dave Richards. I think the final touch was off Mondragon, but Richards is the one celebrating along with... 25,000 at Red Bull Arena. Well, with Dax McCarty holding the ball up and the great timing and the overlap and run from Young Gunnar Soli. We've talked about him aging for so long. He creates so much coming from a deep position as a right back, normally a center midfielder. But what a great ball that is, unmarked, completely unmarked. Dane Richards, the smallest player on the pitch, and he ends up heading this one off the post, comes off of Mondragon. And it's in the back of the net. Well, I think officially that's going to Valdez moving forward into somewhat uncharted territory for him. And now he could be caught out because Richards is on his way. The speedy Dane Richards! Well, a shot that seemed to have Mondragon wrong footed, but the Colombian keeper managed to push it aside. Well, that's the pace that they're looking for. Rogers does all the work. He cuts across his defense and slips it in behind. And Dave Richards, I think he just mishits it, to be fair. It's not a good strike at all. I mean, he could have kept going right at Mondragon and really pulled the, the keeper out of position, made it difficult for him, but he snaps at it and he just hits it right at the keeper. It leads to the corner, though. Pfeffer, the layoff for Carroll. Can the Union construct something meaningful here? Frank, Frank Ross doesn't have a save to make yet. This could be about to change, though, as Williams beat him to the ball, Ross decided to come for it, but Williams couldn't keep his effort down. Well, Ross makes a decision very late, it's kind of a floater, you would think a keeper would come there strong and early, but Williams, he gets there first. Unfortunately for the Union, this one goes over the bar. All it needed was a glimpse of a header, just a little nick towards goal. It was a foul call, it looked like two players shoulder to shoulder going at it, and why not? You gotta allow that once in a while in the game. That's part of the physical part of the game. It's not a foul to go in your shoulder and protect the ball. Rogers trying to find Richards. It's a bad back pass and Limpair was able to latch onto it. Mondragon bailing out Philadelphia. His defense almost committed a kamikaze move there. Sloppy back pass and there's another one from Williams. The Union reeling at the moment. Uh, Richards find them some breathing space with the foul. Wow, well this one here looks like Kalos in a good position just to knock it back to Mondragon. Lays it short, the save comes up big. Great save. Kick save in a butte looks like that. And down many offers to go to Estonia and represent his national team. And he has a commitment to his club. There. Loading it in and the header was there for Tim Ream and that would have been a very special moment for him indeed. Well, it's unreal, isn't it, Adrian? You talked about how sometimes things just don't click for you. You're having a tough season, he's got to get through it. But this ball sits up so nicely for him. You're not going to get that much of a clear header at goal. You, you just got to direct that on the frame. I mean, there was a late challenge coming in there, but still. That's a great opportunity to get a goal there for Tim Ream. Squared off three times, actually, in the Bundesliga. Neither of them ever kept a clean sheet in their previous meetings. Here's Richards. Limpair arriving. Well, he almost stuck in there still. Manages to keep it alive. And Richards is shot. Mondragon has filled it. Oh, and Luke Rogers puts it wide. It looked easier to score for Luke Rogers, but somehow it went wide of the goal. I and think the knockout punch was missed. Yeah, I think the fans are. 
as astonished as we are. How did that miss? But here's the strike from Dane Richards. Mondragon is a bit sloppy, doesn't hold on to it. And look at this. I mean, it's bouncing up in the air, of course. It's hard. But it's on the way up. But really, Luke Rogers just slices this wide. A wide open net. A great opportunity to make it 2-0 for the Red Bulls. Wow. Yellow cards don't carry over, so there'll be no suspension. The slate will be wiped clean. Now the playoffs as the free kick comes in and goes in. No, it's not going to count. The flag is up on the far side. There was no touch on the ball. Latou's free kick went straight in. But the flag is up, and Peter Novak wants to know why. Well, they, are they saying that the player was in an offside position and he impeded the goalkeeper? Yeah. There was no touch on the ball at all. But he, he gets involved, and if you're involved and you throw it off, that's the, the interpretation of the assistant referee there, saying that they were in the way of uh, the goalkeeper, I guess. Well, a couple of things. Was he offside when the free kick came in? Did he get a touch? Did he sufficiently impede Frank Rost? Very, very interesting. Well, we saw quotes from Franz Beckenbauer this weekend saying, like, can we just simplify what the offside rule is? Uh, and it's not a good ball from Freddie Adu. He's got to beat the first defender in, in order for that ball to be any type of a challenge. Here's the last play. And you see right there, there's the offside call by the assistant referee. Now, does the flag go up early enough by saying, well, they're just in an offside position? Or is it just because towards the end of the result that they impede with the goalkeeper, Frank Ross? Inside the second. Across to Limpair now. Working on Williams. Limpair! Blasting too high. Well, let me ask you this, John. If we are going to be seeing both these teams in the postseason, which it seems we are, which one of them is going to go further on what you've not necessarily seen tonight, but what you feel? It's almost like the New York... Lottery of the wild card round, they'll be playing away from those fans. Hans Backer and his side will have to travel first and will have to win to continue their season. But job done here, mission accomplished. Narrow margin of victory in the end, but you sense that Peter Novak's side weren't quite at the same level of intensity tonight.